Hi, Professor Jerry here, and today we're going to walk through using Tableau in this new VDI environment. Okay, so first of all, uh, a link is provided to you to access the VDI environment. So go ahead and access the VDI environment. And once you access it, you'll see something like this, and go ahead, you'll, you'll see all your applications. And what you'll need to do is click on your student lab, so go ahead and click on that. Now, it does take a couple minutes for it to connect from your laptop desktop to the, the VDI environment. So please be patient, let it connect, let it go through all the, the verifications and validations and connect to the server. Once you do connect successful, successfully, you'll see something like this, okay? So they, this is an emulation, if you would, of a Windows environment through the SNU servers, the VDI servers, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is, now that I'm, I am logged in successfully, I'm in the lab, I'm in the Windows environment, I'm going to go ahead and click on Tableau. And again, this will take a couple seconds to pull up, so just have some patience. Okay, great. Now, so what I need to do is, the exercise we're going to be working on is the HR attrition data, so I need to access that file. How do I do that? I'm going to go ahead and click on Microsoft Excel. So that's telling me where I want to connect to. I want to connect to a data source, okay? And the data source is located, I'm going to click on Network. And I'm going to click on Documents, Desktop. And in Desktop, you'll see it says Business Analytics Course Content. Again, Business Analytics Course Content. Double click on there. I'm going to scroll down and find the class. Here it is, MBA 699. Double click. And there's an Excel workbook titled HR Employee Attrition Data. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And if, so what it does is it connects to this Excel sheet. So think of it as a data source, if you would, for the for the organization and someone behind the scenes, perhaps the HRIS team, information systems team, is updating this on a daily basis. So now it gives the opportunity for other organizations in HR or management to review the data and create visualizations, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Just a couple simple visualizations to start analyzing the data, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on the sheet one, all right? And again, uh, so I have this sheet in front of me to build my, my dashboard, if you would. Now, one thing I like about Tableau is if I look here on the left-hand side, this gives me all the fields in the table. So I connected, I got it, I, you know, I connected to this, this, uh, this database, if you would, or this Excel file, if you would, I got all my fields here. Okay. That's pretty awesome. All right. So the ones that have like an ABC next to it, that means, Hey, that's, that's more of a categorical information, like information about it versus, you know, the ones here have a number sign. You look closely here, a hashtag, it says, hey, this is a this is a value. So it can what what Tableau is telling you is, hey, I could do math on this, all right? So again, these are like labels, if you would, characteristics, if you would, of the employees. Whereas these, yeah, these are characteristics of the employees down here, but it's saying, hey, I could do some math on this. Okay. All right. So let's begin. Let's do a couple couple of different visualizations to start telling our story, start analyzing the data, start working on this project, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on, I'm going to go ahead and click on status, and I'm going to drag and drop it into filters area, okay? And it stops and says, okay, what do you want to filter on? I'm going to filter on former. So I'm going to look at the former employees. That's my scope. Click okay. All right, so we got the status form, okay? So the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to click on this drop down here, I'm gonna build a, a pie chart visualization, okay? Click on pie, this is a circle, okay? And I can also um, make the size of the circle by clicking um, Control Shift B. Oh, let me try that again. Pie chart. And We'll make it larger or smaller. So we'll, we'll give it a try once we add some labels to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on. So I want to know, let's do this. Let's talk about, um, I want to talk about the job role. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on job role. And I'm going to drag and drop it to label. 
and puts the labels on there, okay, of the different job roles, okay? So again, I'm going to do the Control Shift B to start making this pie chart a little larger, okay? So it's got some labels on there, all right? But it's not really telling me anything, okay? So let's do this. Let's kind of start, you know, um, adding some details to this pie chart. So I got this, again, these are numeric, and I got this one value um, variable here called HR, um, you know, HR employee attrition. This is this this HR employee attrition gives me a count. This field gives me a count, so it's easy for it to do the math. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it over here and put under size. Okay. So, but now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do. I'm going to click on job role now. I'm going to do color. So now it kind of changed the uh, the colors, but I'm still a little like okay. This like I say, pie chart's a little tricky to do, but let's add some labels. I'm gonna do job role, and I'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take job role again from up here and drag and drop and put labels. So now oh now I got the labels next to each slices of the pie if you want. Okay, now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the count of HR, again, I'm going to do do this. I could grab it from here and drag and drop and put it on a label. So now I have, now it's starting to take some format. So let's rewind. I have the job role. Each has a different color. I have the job role as a label, okay? And then I have a count of each of the, the, the employees, number of employees in that job role in the status as former. So what this visualization is telling us is to say, Here's the former employees of the company that were in this job role. Now, let, let's do something else. Let's try something else here. That's awesome, but let's do one more thing. I'm going to go drag and drop here, and I'm going to click here on this arrow. So I got this count again. It's like, well, why do you want it again? Well, let's try something here. Let's see if we can get a, um, here. Um, We should be able to click and drag and drop and change the measurement to yeah, percent. So I clicked on quick table calculation percent of total. So now this is showing, now this is a calculation. It's doing your percent of total. So let's go ahead and drag and drop this in label. Now we're talking. Now we have the, the job role, the number, and a percent. That's a percent of the former employee. So this is telling us, hey, for example, of the former employees, lab technician, there were 62 former employees, 26%, okay? Sales representative was 13%, all right? And I can obviously do the control B, or control shift B to make this a little larger. So again, we can see more of the visualization, okay? There we go. And then I can actually click here and change the name to say percentage of Former, um, oh, former employees by job role. And I could highlight this and you know make it bold and change the font, you know, make it make the color a little different. Okay, we'll just we'll just go with this for now. But you know, this starts to tell a story, okay? I'm gonna move to the next sheet. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click this plus here. Now I'm gonna add another sheet. This is gonna be more of like our descriptive statistics on these former employees. So again, let's first of all do status, filter, former. Okay, so now it's saying, hey, this visualization is gonna show me the former employees. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on, this I'm gonna click on job role again, just click on it. And it shows all the job roles. Okay, sounds good. But again, now I wanna kinda of display some more data. So I can click on this HR attrition Again, this formula that he created to help us count. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click. There I got, now I got the count. So I got these counts here of our former employees in this table, okay? So let's let's hop back here to sheet one. Lab technician 62, lab technician 62. I always like to cross check my, my data. Okay, so good, so far so good. Now, you know, let's add a couple more, just some numbers. We can start getting a better understanding of these former employees. So let's do this. We'll add age. And I'm going to make sure I click on this icon here. I can click on this one here to show the different variations. And I can do a 
um, click here and do a sum of age. I don't want to do sum of age. I want to do a average of age. And I want to show it in the size. Label. So for it to show up in the table, I clicked on the table here. Now I have the average and the count. So this gives me the average age. I can even, we'll make this count a wider a little bit. I'm going to do, I can even move this average age under here. So now I got the count, the average age. Let's do a couple more averages here. Let's do the average, um, the average performance rating. Again, it does a sum automatically. Then I click here, measure average so that's the average employee rating so i got a count of the number of employees that are former employees by the job role their average age and their average performance rating and i can even say years at the company we'll even do that in average here so i'll click here change this to be measurement average okay again nice table here showing my you know the count the average of age average of performance rating and average of years of the company. I can even click over here. Notice how the arrows up here. I can make this a little larger, showing uh, showing the difference right here. I'll click this out here so I can see it. So I got a nice table showing the count, average age, average performance rating, and average years of the company. Okay. Interesting data. So now let's do one more visualization here. I'm going to go, again, I'm going to click on this plus here for another sheet. And again, you know, back to this, I can add another title here or whatnot. Um, but we'll go here and we'll do this. We're going to add in, again, we're going to start off with our status filter. Former employees. Okay, so now we're only, again, we're only talking about former employees. Let's do, again, let's do this. We're going to do job role. I want to do job role. I want to do this as a as a role. Row. Okay, so there we go. Job role. Job role as a row. I dragged it up there. Let's do again. We'll do our our count. So add this account here. As a oh, do actually move it as a count. So now we got this nice bar chart here. Since I made it as a column, I have the job role as a row. I have a they count as a as a count, but I'm going to change this around a little bit. I'm going to do add one more attribute to this, okay? To kind of, I mean, we already kind of got an idea of how many people were former employees by job role, but I want to kind of do one more, um, if you would, variation of our analysis, okay? So I got the job role. I got that. I'm going to take and drag and drop. I'm going to drop job satisfaction over here in a column. Let's see what it does. Okay, now. Eh, you know, eh, it looks okay, but let's do this. If I go over here, so again, I'm looking at job role, the job satisfaction, I, you know, again, actually, I got to want to move it here. And I'm starting to tell a better story. I have the job role and job satisfaction of our former employees, but let's do this. Let's go here. I'll change it to a, a chart like this. Now we're talking. Now we got a visualization, okay? Now we got something that says that each of our job satisfactions by job role, okay? Yeah, they, it looks good, but let's, let's do one more thing to make it look better. I'm going to, again, so click on this HR employee, our, our HR employee attrition, you know, count here. I'm going to drag and drop that to label. Now I got the labels. Now we're talking. So now we can look at, okay, we're analyzing our former employees, okay? We have here our percentages by the job role. I'm going to hop back to the pie chart. Looks like the lab technicians had the highest um, percentage of 26%. I'm going to go over here. And let's say, let's, if we look at our specifically our lab technicians, um, average age was 31, average performance rating was 2.89, and then average um, years the company was only 3.16. Okay. Then I can go over here and look at, okay, of those lab technicians, okay, I can start looking at some of the data here. Like it says here, you know, 20% were very were unsatisfied. Eight of them were somewhat satisfied. 21 said they were satisfied and 13 were satisfied. So we want to look at what happened here. Why, you know, why did, 
we have some such high attrition on these lab technicians. What was the reason? Was it job satisfaction? We don't know. It's further analysis can be done, but this is just to get you a start on using Tableau to analyze this data, okay? And then again, you get creative with the different visualizations, the different data and whatnot, okay? Thank you for watching this video.